Imagine a revelation that shatters the very foundation of the gaming world, nestled among the titans of Call of Duty, renowned for their unparalleled skill, lie imposters of deceit and manipulation. These elite players, revered and idolized, have not merely dabbled in deception for fleeting moments or weeks, but rather they have woven a web of cheating over the course of several years. Now consider this notion further, those very streamers whose gameplay you eagerly consume, whose every move you mimic, whose victories you celebrate, are they truly paragons of fair play? Could it be that some of these luminaries of the streaming realm are in fact the perpetrators of such egregious misconduct? Such a revelation would seem unfathomable were not for the undeniable evidence that we have before us. The veil has been lifted, exposing a reality where talent is overshadowed by deceit, where the lines between hero and villain blur into obscurity. In a daring feat spanning three years, I delved deep into the covert domain of hackers within the Call of Duty community, gaining access to their most exclusive Discord channels. What awaited me on the other side of this journey is nothing short of astounding. What you're seeing here is a list of the top 10 players in the world for ranked multiplayer for Call of Duty. Five out of those 10 names are confirmed cheaters that are in this Discord whose names were at the beginning of this video. There is, however, one more player on that list that is also cheating. And he was in this Discord, but he left within the last 48 hours and deleted all of his messages and removed his existence from the Discord. His name is Parasite. So unfortunately, I don't have any footage or pictures of him being in there, but I saw with my own eyes that he was in there very recently, but unfortunately, he has left before I could get any evidence on him. With that being said, we are sitting at 6 out of 10 players being hackers in the top 10 and not legit players. That leaves us at a 60% hacker rate. What does that tell us about the other 240 players? Is there also a 60% hack rate throughout the rest of the top 250 players? Possibly. There's a very good chance there is. It could even be worse than that. That means there are potentially 150 players in the top 250 that are hacking, stealing spots from legitimate players that are working hard to try to secure a top 250 spot. Now when it comes to Call of Duty Ranked Warzone, there is a name that stands out at the top. His name is Payne. We're going to talk about Payne here in a second, but there's one other player that stands out as well, and his name is Ezra. Ezra is no longer in the top 10 right now. He is now 11th in the world. Now when it comes to Payne, Payne was in this hacking server October of 2023 during Modern Warfare 2 ranked. Checking his stats periodically, he climbed all the way to 18th in the world during that season. Maybe even higher. I don't have a list of what players placed during those seasons of Modern Warfare 2. I couldn't find one. But based off what I'm seeing here, I do believe it is the same person that is ranked 8th in the world for Resurgence Ranked right now. I can't prove it without a doubt because he's not here anymore. He might have gone to another server. This isn't the only server that does this. Also, when I checked his account, it wouldn't let me load his profile. Possibly he was banned from Discord as a whole, and he came back with a different username, different account, and maybe a different server altogether. I can't confirm, but Payne should be looked at and looked into. Now when it comes to the server, the pictures that I showed at the beginning and everything, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this Discord server to show you how some of this stuff works and to prove that these people are actually in this server. So the server is called Call of Duty. It is a very difficult server to get inside of. You need to know somebody. I became friends with someone and it took me around three years to get into different servers to finally end up in this one with the top dogs. So in this server you can see that they have a general section, they have a shop, and they have top 250. So if you are in the top 250 you can go ahead and get a role and you can submit verification and you have to go through these steps to prove that that's who you are so that when you go ahead and use the tool, the bot in the top 250, it will show your stuff. Now you can have multiple accounts linked to you. So some of these people in this server actually have three, four, five top 250 accounts or iridescent accounts and they sell these accounts. One of them is usually their main and the other ones they sell. So if we go ahead and look at first the shop, we'll check it out. So in here in the shop, they sell different accounts. 
So if we go to the beginning, we can see uh, we have an account here, 2020 PC original account, 50 days on Almazra, 10 days Warzone 3 with 85 wins, all nuke skins, uh, 15 event camos, original email, $600. And this was posted on February 21st, and it sold the same day. It actually sold within three minutes for $600. So these are accounts that are very trusted by Activision, and they sell them for large amounts of money. I don't know where they get these accounts. I'm not sure if they buy them from people or if they're stolen accounts from people they promise services to and just this person is selling them in here. I'm not I'm not totally sure, but this is a big problem right now. And this is just the beginning of the tip of the iceberg of this server. So if we go ahead and check out uh, the general, we can see that they're actually talking about different tools in here. So my friend has access, I think, to Nightfall. I think he showed me that it's available. It just doesn't show on the website unless you're logged in. And right here you can see a tool, I believe it's called Nightfall, that allows hacking. And the price is currently for these different games. And right here is Call of Duty Modern for 3, Modern for 2, another Modern for 2, external software, DMA software. Um, go back to that I'm so glad you said something uh, they talk about using different tools they also talk about screenshots cleared so if you don't know what a screenshot cleared is screenshot cleared is basically when you get a bunch of reports in your account the anti-cheat is taking pictures of you constantly screenshots of your game and what some of these tools do that these cheat providers have is that it can detect when you're about to get a screenshot and it will literally turn off your cheats mid game for a millisecond take the screenshot and then your cheats will turn back on and it will happen sometimes multiple times a game and that's what this is so they're pretty ahead of the game as far as Call of Duty's anti-cheat right now Ricochet is lacking big time 44 screenshots cleared just from one game I've heard of some people having over a hundred in one game um, now if we go ahead and go to the top 250, this is where the big dogs are. This is where the people are that really are cheating bad. He's just on the top players in the world. So right here we have Blends, Blends himself, this is his account, Blends, Blends9688. He is right here, multiplayer, rank 170 in the world. He gained 186 SR today. Uh, Ruthless... Ruth is again checking his, and this just goes on forever. This goes way, way back, way back. I mean, all the way into, I think, back over a year, I'm pretty sure, of just top 250 players that have been in this Discord. This Discord's been around for a while. They've been abusing this for a long time, and these players play together. And I'm not sure if pro players do play with any of these guys, you know, like Aiden and stuff like that, or swag i don't know if they know that these people are cheating you know if they come across them like for instance ezra who is ranked nine right here at the specific time i don't know if other pro players think this guy's legit if they play with them i don't really watch streamers that much so i don't know um but this goes on forever if you go back to general chat the general chat actually disables after a certain amount of time and it's not just this channel it's all of them so Yesterday at 4.48 a.m. This chat has been going on for a long time, but they have a special thing where it wipes the entire server's chat for different channels after a certain amount of time. But they do not have that for the rank 250 forum. I don't know if they, they don't realize that, but this goes on forever, a long ways back. And there is a lot of people in here, a lot of cheaters that uh, that need to be banned. That need, justice needs to be brought to these guys. So here they are celebrating that uh, Feedings is ranked 6 in the world. And now we're talking about Ezra. Let's go ahead and search Ezra once in the server. So Ezra, there are some results here. Right here you can see February 11, 2024. Ezra had a 2,836 SR gain day. Almost 3,000 SR. That is a ton. So let's go ahead and click on it once. And as you can see, Josh is the user that's searching for Ezra all the time in the bot. He is the user that is cheating with the Ezra account. So here you can see Josh uses the rank to identify his account. Ezra ranked 28th at the time. And this is for multiplayer, I believe. I'm not sure, actually. Uh, Michael, we know who this is, 2.8 thousand. What? 
Josh's response was, was a good grind session. Did you still somehow drop eight spots despite the gains? So here they are talking and discussing among themselves about the cheats. So what can we learn from this? The first thing is that cheaters, hackers, are not getting banned. They're climbing the ranks to the very top, to the top 10, to number one, and they're getting away with it. And Activision isn't detecting that these things are happening, that these guys are running hacks. Either that, or they're just whitelisted and not being looked at because they're on trusted accounts. Or in the past, maybe they didn't cheat and Activision trusted them. But regardless of the fact, right now, these players are cheating and they're getting through, they're leaking through the cracks. And I think that the situation with the hackers is much, much worse than what anyone could possibly imagine. I don't think anyone out there right now thought to themselves, out of the top 250 people in the world in multiplayer, a game that you have to pay for to play, that 60% of the top 10 players are hackers, or that 60% of the top 250 are potentially hackers. Reaching the top 250 as a legitimate player, unless you are a legitimate pro, is impossible because there is way too many hackers getting up there and Activision is failing to identify that. They announced the other day that they banned 6,000 accounts. 6,000. I don't know if that's true or not. It certainly doesn't seem like it. Maybe rage hackers, but certainly not these guys. Certainly not the people at the top. The real issue yeah, you know, sometimes people get through little rage hackers, they come on new accounts, they get banned pretty quickly. I think Ricochet literally identifies that they're doing things that aren't possible in the game, like flying boats and stuff, and they get banned. But this is next level. This is what Activision needs to be going after. The big guys. And as myself, as a player of this game that has had issues running into hackers for a long time and dealing with this, from Warzone 1. I mean, I've been playing since 2007. I started at Call of Duty 4. Uh, there wasn't cheating back then. There was a little bit of cheating with transfer cables. Uh, people could fly around the map, stuff like that. But it was console only. It wasn't aimbot, crazy stuff like this that we have now. But as a person, a solo investigative journalist that dug my way into this rat's hole to find all this information, you know, why doesn't Activision hire people to do this stuff? Why do they solely rely on the anti-cheat? Why do they rely so heavily on player reports? Why aren't they sending people out to look into these discords, to find these groups of people doing this, and to shut them down? As for shadow bans, stuff like that that's happening to legitimate players because of false reports is a major issue. It is such a big issue. You have people that paid for your game that do not cheat, that can shadow ban because they have a team spectating them that is upset that they got wiped by this player or his team. And th this dude just happened to be the last person to wipe their team. You know, this guy, myself, against the last on their team, I wiped them, just one dude. And now they're all spectating me because I wiped them. And now they're spamming me because they're upset, because they're angry. And they know that the anti-cheat is going to kick me. They just have to send enough reports. That's how it works. I've been shadow banned 30 times, and I'm a legitimate player. 30 plus times. I see people all the time, legitimate players, that get shadow banned every single day. I have a friend that has a .6 KD that was just shadow banned two days ago. Because spectators were spam reporting him. And I'm going to show you gameplay here in a minute to show you the difference between a legitimate player and a hacker and also touch base on how bad the shadow banning is. And we might as well talk about it along with the hackers and this list of players I'm releasing to you guys because why not? They're both such massive issues. They're just so big. They're the biggest issues, the biggest blemishes that Call of Duty has right now. These two issues. Yeah, there's some, some stuff wrong with balancing and stuff like that, but Nothing in that department compares to the hackers and shadow bans because you have players that are reaching number one ranked in the world that aren't being banned. But you got some guy with the 0.6 KD who's getting shadow banned. 
There's something seriously wrong with that. Now, before we get into the shadow band footage, I want to show you some gameplay from these hackers in this Discord. What I'm about to show you, we're going to be focusing in on these specific players, Kick, Aces, Karma, Mo, Ogre, Yaya, and Milk. And what you're about to see here is a group of hackers playing the game, a four stack and multiplayer ranked, and they're aimbotting. Okay, you're not going to see the person I'm spectating aimbotting, but he is walling and you'll see that towards the middle of the clip. And you also have a user who's not in the game, who was given the IP address by the hackers in game, and they gave him the IP address and the person that's not in the game will then send packets in leg and try to boot the server, not completely, but enough so the enemy team can't plant the bomb or legs to give the hackers an advantage. Forewarning, they also cuss a lot during these clips, so I'm going to go ahead and mute those, the audio out during those parts, so you might hear some breaks in the audio. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and let the clip run. Radar. Yeah, no. <laughs> Bro, I wish he's on front so you But if you move on the way, let me do is you can't put the lobby. Did it hit the lobby? You won't lose this early. Yeah, he said look at the tracking. Mo, did it hit? Keep hitting that shit, bro. That is fing hard one against like Satan and have his favorite. What account are you on? What account are you on? Who's he playing with? Is it is it cozy is TV? TV? If it's cozy TV, that's snowflake. He's playing with Mips, Sun, Even, Exit, and Exit. Bro, I wish I had the match, uh, bro. I would have raged on them straight away. What, what are you on? Huh? What the fuck are you on? Interwebs. I'm not raging on them. What account? My, uh. Oh my so god. Yo, bro. No. Wait, Who was one? that, bro? Oh, the account you were just on? Yo, keep building that milk. Please keep building that shit. I got one minute, baby. You're not gonna lose SR. Is it lagging or no? Yeah, yeah it's lagging. Yeah, then, well, you won't lose SR. Just let them take it then. Just let them take it. So you can finish on time. Huh. Unlock tool. Unlock tool. Yeah, you heard that. Crazy, right? 41 seconds. What's the score? What's the score? Eight, Mo! 3-1-4-2. Uh, 3-4-1? What? what the fuck? What? Three. Four, We're with 3 and then 1-4-2. bro. What? <laughs> he, the score. Yeah, the score is 3 for us and then 1-4-5-4. I'm not even playing a fucking What? Game. What? what? <laughs> the four Yo, stack! Clark. Clark, do you hear him? Like, what is he Bro, saying? Uh, that, that we're free. The score, are you talking about a score or what? The score? <laughs> the score of the game! Yeah, it's three. We're three. Uh, they three. One, seven, two the now. Score. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Bro. <laughs> the score? Hard point? Like, as in you got three points and got 172 on yes, you? No, yes, No way! Bro, I'm not even raging. Like it again, like it again, like it again, bro. <laughs> it's that bad? I sent it, I sent it, I sent it. Bro, what the f***? No way you're getting that cream pie. How many shooters are on your team? Bro, I got me and all good, bro. I'm not raging on them. The bro, they got, a, they got 170 on them, bro. bro you are lucky to serve, bro. Rage. If I rage, bro, if I had this much, I wouldn't rage on them. But now I'm not. I don't have it. Intops is useless. He said three, four, one, four, two. No! Just hide, 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 hide. Hide! Ah. He said three, four, one, four. Three. I'm fucking crying, bro. Yeah, unless you said the score. We are three. And then one, five, two. Eight, seven, six, three, oh, five. <laughs> Let me know when the game ends. 
Okay, Boone, I guess. Uh... I have three minutes. I have three minutes. I should be a dumb big four then. I'm trying to log into this on my phone, Mo. Give me one minute. What's the score now? Uh, what's their score? It's about to end. It's about to end. Yeah, what's their score? Uh, two, 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 two. I can't log Sorry, in, yeah. Mo. There's network error. Log on that gorilla, baby. Oh, no, no, no. I'm on my phone, bro. Like a mega geek, bro. Oh, yeah, he's on my. Yo. Now I'm pausing right here because in this next clip you're going to hear the person that you're watching tell the other player on his team where the enemy is, where the final player is, so we can kill him. I'll tell you where he's at. Oh, you're AFK. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to log into the shit. So he's right in front of you. Still there. He's Laying down. Looking, he's looking towards Upside. the Upside. He's distracted. Yeah, she's Jesus. We have secured the shield. You can accomplish this. Nah, I'll go fuck this, bro. I'm not playing Crab Lobbies, bro. I'm waiting for this to hit gold. Hey, nah, no he was last he was season. Hard. Season. He was last season at MW2. Look it up, Roblox Pro 16 on Twitter, I promise. He said, I know everyone who's number one, and you're not number one. <laughs> he knows everyone that's number one? That's a famous oh, guy. Oh man, though. he's him, yeah, he's him. Literally, he just knows all of them. I mean, shit, he's gotta be. Now, if you didn't recognize from that gameplay, that was Roblox Pro 69. He was number one in the world in Season 6 of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer ranked play. He was number one with almost 46,000 SR. He was on a 272 win streak and never lost a game. Somehow this account sat at number one, was never shadow banned or banned, and is still active to this day and his users still using that account. Right now, cheating and Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer ranked play. Now in this next clip that I'm about to show you, we are spectating a new team in this Discord server. The person that we are watching is using walls, soft aimbot, and you also get to witness what it looks like when they host boot the server to cause lag so that they get an advantage over you. If you've ever had an experience where you're lagging a lot in game consistently the whole game, especially in Warzone, a lot in Warzone 2 in the previous game, that is them DDoSing the server causing lag. So I'll go ahead and roll that clip now. Objekte einnehmen. Beeilung. Wir erobern A. <lacht> Now the reason I'm pausing the video right here is because previously in this video I talked about screenshots and how the anti-cheat will take screenshots of people that are being reported or that are sus. And their cheats or tools that they're using to hack can actually turn off their cheats for a short amount of time because it can detect that they're being screenshotted by the AI. And what the AI is looking for when it screenshots is like red boxes or mod menus, stuff like that on your screen. 
and then the AI will filter through those screenshots that takes the view and it, if it detects something unusual it will issue a shadow ban or a permanent ban right so what they can do is th their cheats of the use will turn off so you're about to see right here that he loses walls on the enemies in this next clip and then he'll say oh screenshots and accuse uh you know that's why he lost the gunfight because his hacks weren't working so just pay very close attention You saw uh, oh my God. my screenshot. And now after seeing those game clips and all the evidence I presented to you, you have to ask yourself, why hasn't Activision banned these accounts? Why are they not being detected, watched, reported, and removed off the leaderboards? Why instead are legitimate players being shadow banned? Players that don't cheat? I don't know. But these, these things need to be addressed right away. So... To top this video off, I have one last thing I want to show you. I'm going to go ahead and show you some gameplay of a legit player, actually myself, being shadow banned without doing anything wrong. And you're going to hear our comms, see how we play, versus how the hackers play, and their communication. And there's a massive difference between the two. Legitimate players are being shadow banned and punished, while the hackers continue to climb the ranks and abuse the system. You're going to hear chops in the audio during this gameplay because I'm muting out where we swear, just so that's safe for YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the shadow band footage right now for you guys to see. You guys should get fucking snake like Yo, that. Yo, buy back up on the hill. You want to push that? Yeah, let's go get him. No, it's in the it's in the wide open, dude. You're pushing it. Dude, they're weak. Their boy hasn't came down yet either. Right above me, right above me, right above me. Where, where, where? They're right on me. They're inside, inside. Window. Down. Oh my god, I'm getting chased. No, it wasn't, bro. Stop saying I'm stealing your kills, bro. I'm shooting the guys that are in front of me, bro. Stop, stop, stop. We're good, we're good. Oh my god. All right, yo, go. Uh, Chris, l let me get 2K. Uh, I got 16K. So yeah, yeah, let me get 2K quick. At? Here. All right, um, let's all go get fucking UAVs. Uh, self revives too. I already have a self, so we just need to buy two. Helicopter well, flying around too, watch yeah, out for yeah, that. I'm gonna buy... Wait, what are you buying? Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. Yo, they're dropping on us. Where, where, where? The helicopter team, they just jumped out. Alright. You know they went fire station. A down one in there? He's... I down another one? Dude, I just...
can lit that building up. I have to reload for a jump. Whatever. F it, I'm jumping. Self revive right here on me. Yo, get him, BK, get him. Did you get him? Yeah, let's go back up the hill though and get and get get our shit. We're chilling, bro. We're fragged. Oh my god. All right, Yo, all right. That's the middle of circle. That's the high ground up here, bro. I know. Yo, dude, we I have three spectators, bro. Oh, someone's dropping in. Someone's dropping in right in front of me. Where, 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 where? Right in front of me. Unloady. 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 Oh my god. I got one. I got one. Yo, guy. I have a team spectating me. I'm probably getting spam reported. Oh, yeah. Wait. I'm still over here. There's a guy right below me. He's right here. He's It's fine. He can't get me. I'm gonna light his. Wait. There's somebody in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, go back up there, bro. Where's come by you? UAVs. Come by UAVs. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I got one more in my pocket. I could pop it, bro, but I'm not. Yeah, I got... And they got, a, like, an armor box? Yeah, BK, burn your UAV. I have one as well. Alright, bro. Yo, buy another one. Buy another one. Give me your breath. Give me... Nah, nah. I'm buying something else. Give me... I'll buy a PA. Yeah, buy a PA. Here, I just got shadow banned. No, you didn't. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. I was getting spam That's... reported. I, I got it recorded. Too. I got it on recording. Give me your breath. Here, here. Bro, that's so f***ed up, man. It's How much you need? <laughs> Crazy. You f knew it, too. Isn't that, dude, you, you can't even play this game, bro. Like, legit. Because if you play good, you're going to get shadow banned. It's crazy. That was my first here, good I'm... game of the night. That's insane, bro. That is insane. Somebody's a, like. My last time I have a 1.85. There's one thing left to say. This isn't the end-all be-all for cheaters and hackers and Call of Duty. Once these players see this video, this Discord will most likely be deleted and a new one will be made. They'll come back with different names, doing the same thing all over again. Until Activision addresses the root cause of these issues. This will never end. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is a web that's been woven over many years with the help of hackers, fake streamers that cheat, content creators that cheat, and hacking companies that provide this software. This isn't the only Discord that is being targeted. If you're cheating, we will find you. We most likely already know who you are.